All right, and now there's just four. That's all that's left. And here's the next fastest finger question. Put these words in order by the number of vowels they contain, starting with the least. Gorilla, bee, cat, rhinoceros. Should be interesting. Time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the least number of vowels, cat. And then B, gorilla, and rhinoceros. And that's the right order. Do we have a winner? Well, let's see. The winner is Lisa. Let's go to work. Lisa Lundi Lopez in the hot seat right now from Atlanta, Georgia. You all know her from TLC and from her single works as well. And it'd be great to have you here. Thank you're you. You're here. You're in the hot seat. Nice to be here. And you're looking very fine in that Thank outfit. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Ty Tyrese is still staring at you. You know, <laughs> I'm getting a little concerned. So who did you bring along with you? Charm. This charm is, and charm is being held by your publicist. Yes. And what does charm mean to you, Lisa? Charm was given to me by my newly adopted um. Daughter. Oh, is that right? You adopted a little girl, huh? Yes. Well, good for you. What's her name? Her name is Snow. Ah, it's nice. And how's life with her? Beautiful. Yeah? It's nice. So who are we playing for today? The Village Foundation? Yes. What, what do they do? Well, the Village Foundation is specifically geared towards black males. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a foundation that supports over 1,400 programs um, dealing in education, community services, sports and music. All right, fine. So uh, shall we go to work here? You know the rules, you know the lifelines. Lisa Lopez, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire right now. $100. A bikini typically comes in how many pieces? Bikini. One, two, three. <laughs> the fewer the better. B. <laughs> and you're right for $100. Sure, it's a two piece bikini. Now, here's the question for $200. In music slang, to rap is to bust a what? Slide, rhyme, gut, eardrum. Put your hands I'll go with B, rhyme. That's my final answer. Yes, it's to bust a rhyme. Going for 300. Something that is easily heard or understood is said to be clear as a what? Pond, bell, tree, recording contract. B, bell, final answer? Yes, bell again. It's a bell, it's clear as a bell. $500. What is a lasso usually made of? Rope, putty, steel, gold. With A. Rope. Final, Final. answer. Yes, rope. Okay, here we go now. Which of these phrases is the title of a Michael Jackson album? Over the top, off the wall, between the lines, around the corner. <laughs> B. No! <laughs> Off the wall, final answer. Off the wall, answer. final answer. Yes, you got it for $1,000. We'll take a break, we'll come back. Lisa Lopez goes for $2,000. Lisa Lopez from TLC in the hot seat right now and going for uh, $2,000. And incidentally, has her first solo album coming out. Yes, I do. Supernova. Yes, it is. Must be exciting for you, huh? Very exciting. <laughs> now, are you on a fast right now? Somebody yeah. said you're yes, fasting. Yes, I am. How long is the fast going to last? 40 days. And where are you now? Um, 11. And how does it feel? <clears throat> it feels wonderful. Do you I, have, I have any, any food at all? Any substance? Yeah, well, no, I drink juice, water, drink sea moss. Sea moss? Sea moss. And what does that do for you? Sea moss, well, see, the body is comprised of 102 minerals and CMOS has 99 of them. No kidding. So it's, it's... So you're feeling good? 
Yeah. Would you recommend this to a guy like Tyrese? I would recommend it for everyone. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> With all the promotion in the world. Tyrese is still pass. upset that he uh, didn't get beyond 32000 but that's good money, Tyrese. That's cool. Just give me a little CMOS backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I got some. <laughs> And Belinda has uh, joined uh, Tyrese. We're going to keep them here to help you, okay? All right. So we're going for $2,000 in Let's Play with Lisa Lopez, TLC. <laughs> Lisa, American Express charge cards come in which of these colors? Brown, orange, yellow, green. D, green. Final? Final answer. Yes, ma'am. Two thousand dollars. <laughs> Here it is for four thousand. On the TV series Star Trek Voyager, what is the Voyager? Computer, ship, planet, leader. Um, I know this. I'm gonna go for B. <laughs> ship. Yeah. Final answer. That's my final answer. Yes, it's the ship. Here it is for $8,000. Popular singer Shaggy is best known for performing what genre of music? Reggae, rap, techno, country. I bet you better know that one. You better know <laughs> that one good. A. That's my final answer. Reggae, the right answer for eight thousand. <laughs> Lisa Lopez going for sixteen thousand. Sempa Fidelis is the motto for what branch of the U.S. military? Marine Corps, Army, Navy, Air Force. Hmm. I wonder what this one is. Let's see. Hello. Semper Fidela, Semper Fi. I'm feeling Marine, right? Marine? Yeah, we're going to go for A, Marine. Final answer. Final answer. That's the right answer. $32,000 right now. Which of these performers is a major supporter of Drop the Debt? A campaign for third world debt relief. Phil Collins, Sinead O'Connor, Bono, Rod Stewart. We're gonna go for C. Final answer. She oh, likes no. Bono. Bono's the right answer. Thirty-two grand. Thirty-two thousand dollars. Right, Lisa Lopez, you got oh, thirty-two thousand. It's all locked <laughs> up for you. We move on now to sixty-four thousand dollars. In the nineteen ninety-seven movie *L.A. Confidential*, Danny DeVito's character works for what tabloid? Confidential, Snapshot, True Hollywood, Hush Hush. Did you see the movie, Lisa? Didn't see it. Well, um, let's see. We're gonna go for. <laughs> you got lifelines if you need them. Excuse me. You got the lifelines if you need them. I got, I'm gonna um, go for L.A. We're gonna go for D. Hush, hush. Final answer. Yes, the 64. <laughs> when we come back, Lisa Lopez goes for $125,000. Lisa Lopez from TLC, going for $125,000. And are you working on another TLC album? Yes, I am. Yeah. You going to write the songs for that one, too? Um, well, I rap. So you... I write everything that I say, basically. Uh -huh, good for you. You've been very, very talented. Uh, as a matter of fact, you could play the piano and, uh, by ear when she was four years old. And what was the first thing you played? Close Encounters of a Third Kind. <laughs> <laughs> you played movie themes, huh? 
Well, I went to, to the movie, and when I got home, I just figured it out. That's when everyone discovered that I was learning by ear. So. And that's uh, when your family realized maybe we've got a little musical talent maybe here. So. But it goes beyond music. You also do some painting and sculpting. Yes, I do. And don't you do a cover of uh, the cover of your? Well, my albums? album. There's a puzzle that comes with it. It's called the Dodecahedron, and um, I kind of created that, and I do all the computer graphics. Good for, for you. It, so. yeah. And they called you Lisa Left Eye. Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Yes. What, what's that all about? Well, a guy gave me a pickup line. He said he was attracted to my left eye. <laughs> so all he wanted was your left eye. <laughs> said it's this the guy left needs, eye. So. This guy needs some sea moss <laughs> right away. <laughs> Maybe so. We're going for one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Let's play. Here we go. Okay, Lisa. What writer's father was the inspiration for the fictional character Mr. McCormick, Mark Twain, Charles Dickens, James Joyce, F. Scott Fitzgerald? Hmm, alrighty. Okay, let's see. What writer's father? I'm gonna have to use a lifeline. Okay, you got them all. Let's call someone. What? <laughs> Who do you want to call? We're going to call um, Cliff Levin. What does Cliff do? He's, He's my lawyer. He's your lawyer. Sure. Let's get the lawyer on the phone, AT&T. Hello? Hello, Cliff. Yes. Regis Philbin calling from Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi, Regis. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm here with Lisa Lopez, and she's asking for a little help. I'd be glad to give it to her. All right, she's going for $125,000, okay? Okay. All right, uh, Lisa, it's all yours. You've got 30 seconds, and they start now. All right, Cliff. Yes? What writer's father was the inspiration for the fictional character, Mr. McCarber? Mr. McCarber. A, Mark Twain. B, Charles Dickens. C, James Joyce. D, F, Scott Fitzgerald. What writer's father was the inspiration for the character, Mr. McCarber? Yeah. Can you read the answers? Mark Twain, Charles Dickens, James Joyce, and F. Scott Fitzgerald. Three Mark seconds. Twain, James Joyce, F. Three Scott seconds. Well, okay, let's see. What are we gonna do now? Hmm. Let's go 50-50. Why don't we narrow it down, computer? Give us the two that are left, and it's Mark Twain and Charles Dickens. I'm gonna go for A. You still have a lifeline. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Save it for the next one. You lose 32,000 here, but you wanna go with A? Yeah. Final answer? That's my gut final answer. <laughs> it was Dickens. Oh. It was Dickens. 32,000, Lisa. Good luck, sweetie. $32,000 for the Village Foundation. Good job, Lisa. You've earned yourself a nice tall glass of Seamoss. Well, Joey, did you ever try Seamoss? Uh, not, not yet. You could use a glass right now, I'll tell you that. If it helps with this, my if, fingers, yes. What is it? What is the problem? It's the B button. I think it's the B button, personally. We'll see, though. It's the I'm B gonna... button up here. It's called brain. <laughs> Just kidding, Joey. All right.